I shall guide the land unto peace from the chaos. Forces of Cao Cao defeat the armies of Yuan Shao at Guandu. The Yuan family loses momentum and eventually is wiped out. Cao Cao is now the closest to gaining control of the entire land. Elsewhere, Sun Quan has inherited control in Jingdong following the death of his brother, Sun Ce. His force, however, cannot compare to that of Cao Cao. He has given Xinye to govern, but he has practically no force of arms. This is truly the age of Cao Cao. A land in which people do not suffer. A land free from sorrow and the misery of war. Cao Cao would laugh at the very idea, while Sun Quan would choose a different path. But Master Liu Bei believes in this vision. Even when it troubles him and brings him pain, he continues to strive to realize his noble dream. The way of virtue and benevolence, which all others in this age of war and strife have abandoned as impossible. Jugo Liang. Known as the Sleeping Dragon, he was one of the most brilliant strategists of his time. He studied military tactics along with Xu Xu and others as disciples of the famed strategist Simo Hui of Jing province. Afterwards, he retreated to a life of solitude along with his wife, Yue Yin. However, he was later paid three visits by Liu Bei and agreed to serve as a strategist. The time had come for him to wield his vast intellect in order to help create a land of virtue. He will not surrender. I wish to do what I can to help make that grand ambition a reality. There is currently no army in the land which can match that of Cao Cao. No one can hope to defeat Cao Cao alone. The second most powerful force is led by Sun Quan of Jiandong. His army is no match for Cao Cao's, but he has a solid base in Jiandong, populated with loyal followers. In order to take the first steps toward the land you dream of, Master Liu Bei, we must develop enough strength to stand alongside these two great forces. But as you know, Zhuge Liang, I have no home of my own. What you speak of is impossible. If we can secure a land upon which to stand, and allow your grand ambition to gather more followers, then there is every chance it could happen. Cao Cao seized upon a faded moment in time, while Sun Quan used the power of a land base. For you, my lord, the key to drawing the people to you is in your virtue and benevolence. 
You must walk the path of righteousness. Once you have begun, we will join forces with Sun Quan, and together we will oppose Cao Cao. The path of righteousness. That is the road for me. Your words have cleared the fog from my mind. I see clearly now a vision for the future. Allow me once more to formally request your help. Will you guide me as my strategist? Help me defeat Cao Cao and enable me to build a land of peace? I will. I pledge to use every ounce of my mental acuity to support your grand ambition, my lord. Zhuge Liang, I am putting you in charge of our forces. You must lead us safely out of this crisis. Very well. I will find a way to repel Cao Cao's forces. Wait just a minute, brother. I can understand why you want to rely on a strategist, but we don't know anything about this guy. I don't feel comfortable with him ordering me around. I must say that I feel Zhang Fei has a point. It is one thing for him to propose a strategy, but another matter entirely to entrust the command of the entire army to a newcomer. Guan Yu, Zhang Fei. I trust Zhuge Liang. I ask that you comply with his orders. Well, if you say so, brother. Very well. Thank you both for understanding. Now, if you will allow me, I would like to explain the plan. The enemies outnumber us significantly. In order to overcome this deficiency, I intend to overcome Cao Cao's forces with a fire attack. Huh, you really think it'll be that easy? Give him a chance, Zhang Fei. Victory will be impossible without your help. I hope you will give your all for our cause. The pursuit of Cao Cao's forces will be stopped here at Baowenpo. Coordination between the various units will be the key to victory in this battle. Everyone! I ask that you follow my directives. Let's go capture one of those unsightly positions. Follow me! This area will soon be the site of battle. It will inevitably bring danger to nearby villages. I hate to impose on you, but do you think you could ask the villagers to evacuate? Fighting nearby? Then we'd better run for it! Are all the villagers going to escape too? I can't just run on my own! Thank you so much for warning me. Now I must hurry and make my escape. It's pointless to run if we don't all go together. What does everyone else say?
You tell me to run, but I can't do that unless we're all together. What? This place may become a battlefield. No! We have to get away! What did you just say? Fighting? Then we'd better get away, quickly! Huh. Huh. Hold on! I have to carry my grandma! All of the villagers have been evacuated. I am truly grateful for your assistance. Report! Lord Jiang Yong has already started to lead a number of villagers to safety. Excellent. If the evacuation can be successfully executed, we can expand the area of the fire attack. Everything went just as planned. That's some excellent fighting. Now, take defensive positions. The Ooh forces are acting strangely. We should check out that area over there. I must report this incident to our lord. Send a messenger to him at once. Yes, my lord. Oh, I was unable to complete my duty. General Eugene! I'm sorry! I perish. Who will report to Lord Cao Cao? What are they plotting? I must go and find out for myself. Defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy I through. Call upon the thunder. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Excellent fighting. We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. I failed to disrupt the enemy's plot. I must accept my punishment for this transgression. Now the enemy won't know our plans. We can concentrate on the preparations. It is always nice to see satisfactory results. you want to try. I'm afraid that only those as beautiful as myself may pass. Keep up your guard. Defense is equally important in battle. Face me, if you think you are worthy. Now's the time to strike! I call upon the thunder! I must retreat. I suppose I wasn't ready to face this particular trial. There is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. Truly impressive! I won't have any enemies left to defeat! My craft. It is always nice to see satisfactory results. Positions. Without someone to issue command, the enemy army will crumble. We will target their strategist in the garrison in Xinye. If I am slain, our future plans will be jeopardized. The enemy forces must be attacked. Thunder! 
of our garrison has been secured. This will allow me to focus on commanding the troops. There is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. It is always nice to see satisfactory results. Truly impressive! I won't have any enemies left to defeat. Truly impressive. I won't have any enemies left to defeat. We must shield Master Liu Bei and drive these enemies away! greater weapon than a prepared mind. It is always nice to see satisfactory results. Wow, you're amazing. Huh. Just hit me. We should go this way. Come on, let's get going. If we are struck from the side now, our fire attack will be ruined. All forces, sweep the advancing enemy aside! Now is the time to strike! Now is the time to strike! There should be no more obstacles to our fire. Today's just not my day. I'll come back again when I'm feeling better. There is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. It is always nice to see satisfactory results. 
Splendid. I expect nothing less from you. Thanks to everyone's hard work, preparations are now complete. Fire attack unit, set the area up, Blade. Fire! It's an enemy fire attack! I call upon the thunder! We'd resort to such underhanded tactics. Let's go! This is where we get payback for our defeat at Xinye. Report! The fire attack unit has arrived! Yes. So far, everything is proceeding apace. <laughs> Reporting! Our forces have taken Yeshway Gate! Very good. This should ensure that the fire attack is not obstructed. Looks like the preparations for the fire attack are complete. Soon it will be my turn to shine. let my guard down. However, things will be different the next time we meet. Fine work, everyone. This should ensure that Cao Cao gives up his pursuit. Zhuge Liang, you have proven yourself beyond any doubt. You were magnificent. Not at all. This victory owes more to the commitment shown by our officers than to me. I merely gave the orders. Your intellect and vision are remarkable, Master Zhuge Liang. I ask that you forgive the disrespect I showed you before the battle. Oh, I guess I'll have to admit it as well. You're good. I really didn't think things would go just the way you planned, but... I thank you both for your kind words. Let us continue to work together for the sake of Master Liu Bei. Very good.
Zhuge Liang. Cao Cao's main forces are about to reach Jing province. I hear that Cao Cao himself leads the army, and its numbers are colossal. The strategies we have used in the past will not work this time. Then what do you propose we do? The wisest course of action would be to retreat to the south, together with Master Liu Biao's son, Master Liu Qi. Once we have escaped, we will form an alliance with Sun Chuen of Jiandong and fight against Cao Cao. I bring news. Cao Cao's main forces have reached Jing province. Yes. Please, everyone, do not engage the enemy unnecessarily. All that matters now is that we survive. So many of the ordinary people revere and respect you, Lord Liu Bei. Unfortunately, their presence alongside you has greatly slowed our advance. Cao Cao's army has identified this weakness and has mercilessly targeted it. As a result, everyone has been scattered to the winds in an attempt to survive. Ah, uh, I never expected so many people to follow me like this. But instead of saving them, I've done the exact opposite and exposed them to even greater danger. All I can do is curse my own weakness. I understand how you feel. However, there is no need for you to worry. Lord Zhuge Liang has prepared boats to help the peasants escape. Master Liu Qi has gone ahead to Xiao Ku and is making preparations to welcome us there. The best thing you can do to try and save the lives of the people who admire you so, my lord, is to hurry to Xia Ku. Very well. I will have faith that everyone will be safe and hurry onwards to Xia Ku. Wait! I cannot let you escape from here! <laughs> <laughs>